Hey guys, Arithi here, and I'm going to be showing you how to do renders. So the first thing you are going to want to do is um, open Studio and Develop if you don't already know what that is. Then all you have to do is press um, play, and your character will spawn. So after that, you open Workspace and go on Player, and you just open that up, and you'll see like the shirts and everything else. So you basically just take out Animate sound and um, in humanoid you take out the animator and now your person is frozen and you'll be able to like walk around but you don't want to be able to walk around so what you do is you go on model then anchor and now you can walk around as whatever I don't know the um, humanoid part and at this point since your humanoid is anchored you can pose it however you want so yeah going to be posing this. Okay, so once you're satisfied with how your character looks, you are going to want to click on player, then export selection, and uh, uh, you can just put it wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. And just name it what you want. And then save. And uh, yeah, so then you can just close out a studio. And then this, you open a uh, C4D. And there's a free crack of this somewhere, but I don't know where that is currently, but I do use the crack version. So once. Cinema 4D loads. Okay, so once it's loaded up, you go on Merge and you find wherever you saved it and open the OBJ. Okay, and then you use 3, 2, and 1 to look around. 3 is rotate. Two is zoom, and one is just drag. So once you get your character in, you'll notice that it has no clothes on. So you go on um, player, and then it should have like all this at the side here. Go on color, then texture, then click on the three little dots, and look for the texture, or the whatever you are wearing when you uploaded your person. E no, that's not it. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And then you'll see that it's like kind of blurry, so just go on editor, or I mean, yeah, editor and no scaling and should be a lot more And I am going to see if I have the texture for my arm. I don't. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> this part up, because I saw. Okay, here we go. Now I got it. Um, so yeah, you can do no scale into that, but I uh, I just have a package on. So that's what you do for packages. So um, next, if you see there's like a little white glare thingy that's called Spelcher or however you say that, you just go in down here on the little ball and then edit and this should show up then you take up take off specular and uh, it's more boring this way but it looks a lot better in the final result both and then um for your editing dimensions and such you go in up here by the render thing and just do 1920 by 1080 
and uh, that's how big it's going to be. You can make it smaller, but I just like it to be big. And then you go on, save it to whatever file you want, pictures, probably. Um, and then for the format, you change it to PNG, and then if you want the background to be transparent, which you probably do, check alpha channel. Then on anti-aliasing, I can't say that, <laughs> It is on geometry, but for the best settings, obviously go on best. And um, the higher you go, the longer it takes for renders. So I usually do 16 by 16 because it's like really good quality. And then I add color correction and ambient occlusion. And that is how I do the renders. And then you just pose it to however you want. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold up. I almost forgot. We need lights. So I usually put, like, five. So drag the lights around the character. We're going to have one on the head. Have Okay, so now that you have your character lit up the way you want, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I can't get it much better than this. Um, You're going to want to click on this, and it will just start rendering for you, and based on how high you did your graphics, it will take like different amounts of time. So I'll just speed this up for you guys now. Okay, so that is basically it. As you can see, that took quite a while, but it's really high quality. Um, so now I'll just show you what it looks like when you open it up in pictures. So here it is. So yeah. You can use these on logos or game logos, thumbnails, whatever you want. Yeah, the end.